I was teaching at University of New Mexico, and a friend of mine that worked there was also in 423, and he asked me to go be a carpenter on Red Dawn. And I went up and became a carpenter on Red Dawn, and that's kind of how it started. It was the coldest winter I've ever spent in my life, and uh, one of the members had gotten a brand new pair of leather line, or fleece line gloves, and uh, he had walked out with uh, the DP, and we were outside at a, at a drive-in theater, and he said, um, let's start pulling this cable out of here. The guy put his hand on the tower to pull it down, and when he pulled his hand back, it just kind of tore the whole inside of the glove out, and they said, that's it. We're going home, guys. Primarily, the, the, the jobs that I have been in and uh, in this in the art department is I've been a prop master, a weapons master, and a decorator. I think the last time I figured it up a few years back, I think I worked on about 50 films and nine or ten TV series. Yeah, hardest job I've ever done on a set. That it's kind of tough to say. I I really don't know. Things I did not want to do, maybe in hard. Um, when we were doing City Slickers, um, and Billy Crystal sticks his hand in the cow, loses his wristwatch. Well, I'm in the cow, and I take the watch off his hand. So all that goo and mess, and I shoved the calf out of it. So I was inside of there for that. But it wasn't hard. It was just a, kind of goofy and messy. I've been involved with uh, with you know union work of for the motion pictures and and theater for since 1981 and then in 1988 I helped start 480 which is the studio mechanics or motion picture local here in New Mexico. We just petitioned the international to see if we could get a studio mechanics local and uh, to our surprise they gave us one and uh, we wound up being I believe the third studio mechanics local charter. We started with about 70 or 80 people now it's up to about 1,100, 1,200 people. There's a lot of creative guys that come up, and I met Michael on um, Longest Yard. When Michael was working with me on uh, probably Believe in Me, or, and he asked me, so how, how do you know what department does what sometimes? Because everything, there's a fine line between certain things. And I said, well, if you kind of uh, compare it to horse manure if uh, when you look at it this way it's uh, if it's steam in its effects if you have to move it it's set deck if you play with it it's props and uh, if it just lays there well it's a uh, craft service or grip so uh, whatever it was it was just a and he took that to heart I guess when I retire from this and the things that, that I'll take with it is uh, is remembering the people that I've met. It's a small community even though it's a large business and uh, there's a lot of really good people in it and that's what I'm going to miss.